This week, a combination of issues have come together to create a pretty seismic event in the US drone industry. DJI have withdrawn stock of pretty much all of their drone products from the US store. Their drones are also in extremely limited stock in third party stores in the US. And they've also released a document, a update around data security with a gaslight to everyone around how safe their drones are from external hacking whilst really not addressing any of the questions around their own usage of people's data. On top of this, we've also had Hollybro withdraw from shipping externally outside of Hong Kong and China as well. And the reality is right now, the US drone industry is in a little bit of turmoil. Now, in this video, I'm going to try and explain exactly what the situation is. I've spent the last few days talking to people in the background, people in the know, and whilst there hasn't been any official statement from DJI, there are some things on the grapevine that I'm going to share with you today. But I also want to be clear in saying that you should deem anything that I say as I was told as Hugh saying nothing more because there has been no official statement from DJI with regards to any of this. So a few days ago, DJI did something rather interesting and that was that they have pulled stock of pretty much all of their drone products from the DJI store. For European and UK customers, everything is normal. However, if you're a US customer, DJI have slightly revamped the stores, promoting their non-drone related products, and pretty much all of their drone related products are completely out of stock. Looking on the DJI store here, you will see products such as the DJI mics, the Power, the RS series of gimbals, as well as their alternative products like the Action series and their handheld cameras, all have reasonable availability. However, when it comes on to drones, if you start looking at these, you will notice very quickly that everything from a drone perspective is out of stock. None of them are available to order in the US at all, with it being the case across the board for any of DJI's flying related products. Even newly released DJI flying products like the Flip are showing out of stock as well. And it is basically now a case that if you want to buy a DJI drone, you're going to have to go to a local dealer. However, don't get too excited because pretty much all dealers are now out of stock of DJI drones as well as a result of A, DJI stopping sales, pushing people into the retailer's hands, but retailers also having limited stock availability as well. Not only does this affect DJI's off-the-shelf drones like the Mavic and the Mini series, but it also affects their FPV products as well. Goggles 3 from DJI have been limited stock for quite some time, and O4 ear units are now out of stock at many retailers. The situation is pretty much any DJI product related to flying is basically no longer available in the US. Now, as for why is this the case? Well, as I've said already, DJI have not released a statement. They have not specifically said anything publicly regarding this. However, as I've said already, I have been talking to people in the background, some retailers, some people who have been affected by this. And the very basics are, as I understand it at this moment in time, is that the US is a hostile environment for DJI to be able to do business in when it comes to their flying products. Not only have DJI products been seized at ports on import when they are trying to bring them into the US to sell, even people having their products returned for repair are finding their drones are being seized and getting stuck in customs and not being released or then being sent bills to allow them to bring them back into the US. This situation has been bubbling on and off for quite some time, and it seems that it has come to a head in the last week, with DJI completely changing their website to put all of their consumer drones out of stock. Alongside the challenges being able to actually sell or bring products into the US, the tariff situation has also added complexity on the top too, with manufacturers across many industries struggling to import products, not knowing what they're actually going to cost when they land as a result of the constant changing situation with tariffs. 
Many companies would have actually stopped their exports for products and that would have happened two to three months ago. And whilst there has been reasonable stock up to this moment in time, any pause in imports two to three months ago are only going to start to have an effect now. And that is also what we're seeing with the lack of stock in the US, especially when it comes to retailers. There are a number of specific things going on here and it isn't one specific cause. You have the tariffs that reduce the amount of items being brought into the US, especially over a specific period of time, which has now meant a lack of stock with retailers. But you then also have this hostile environment for DJI to operate in with regards to importing their products directly themselves, or even customers being able to bring their products back in after after having warranty repairs. We are even seeing people post things such as receiving bills for a thousand plus dollars just bringing their drone back from repair from DJI K Refresh. The very simple reality is right now it is impossible for DJI to operate in the US with all of this going on and as a result of that you are now seeing a pretty much exodus with regards to DJI's fly-in products in the USA. All of this has been bubbling for quite some time and in fact DJI even didn't bother releasing the new Mavic 4 in the US as a result of these issues. Now the big question many people will have is, is this permanent? How long is this going to last? And what can I do to be able to buy my DJI products? Well the truth of this is we don't know for sure. The whispers that I've been hearing in the background and the noise on the grapevine is DJI are bringing some product in, but it is likely to only be hitting retailers and not via the DJI store. But that's not going to be happening till about mid-July stroke August time. Whilst they are still selling their other products in the US, when it comes to buying DJI drones right now, they have basically paused everything and they are waiting to see where everything lands. Now, obviously, tariffs are both a complex and political subject. And whilst I want to steer away from the politics, what people need to understand about tariffs especially is it's not just about the tariff itself. It's about knowing what the tariff is going to be over a long period of time. A lot of the unsettled situation here isn't actually caused by a tariff itself. It's caused by this constant moving around of tariffs because pretty much Everything is being brought in by boat. It takes two to three months to get itself across the globe. And as a result of that, shipping it today means you will not know what it's going to cost when it lands in two to three months. And you can't sell a product or even import a product if you don't know if it's viable to sell it in the market, if you don't know what it's going to cost landed. The basics are DJI can't operate when you have this situation of not knowing what the product is going to cost when it lands. This isn't unique to DJI. This has hit loads and loads of industries, especially the computer industry. There are some great videos on this subject from Gamers Nexus, where he talks about the effect of tariffs for computer manufacturers. And as I've said already, it's not actually about the tariff itself. It's about the uncertainty as a result of all of this moving around. And that is what takes away confidence. And when you take away confidence, brands, companies, importers stop doing business. And that is basically what you're seeing here. Now, to add a bit more fuel to the fire around all of this, DJI isn't the only one stopping shipments around the world. For instance, Hollybro have stated that they are no longer exporting products overseas as well. Hollybro are a brand who make a lot of flight controllers, other items as well, and they've been cancelling orders for users in the US and other places as well over the last few days. It is very, very interesting that we are seeing a number of drone companies, manufacturers, limiting the amount of products that they're actually exporting. Whether this is some form of move to try and starve the US market of drone related products, I don't know. However, the reality of this right now is DJI and others are starting to restrict the movement of drone related products around the world. What this means for availability is it is going to be extremely tight for the next two to three months. And whilst you may see sporadic amounts of stock coming through, 
I would not expect to see huge changes in availability until not only the situation with DJI is made clearer in the US with regards to being able to import products, but also the tariff situation settles down as well. Now, as I've mentioned, there are no official comments and statements from DJI on this, so everything is speculation. But all of the people I've talked to in the background have told me this isn't a pulling out by DJI of the US market. This is a combination of a number of situations that have now come together, which means they're going to have to pause things for a while until they can understand where the cards lie and where and how they're going to be able to operate in that market moving forward. The very fact that DJI still shows the drones on the websites tells you that they're not completely exit in the US market. But the reality of this is that DJI is going to be a very difficult product to find in the US for at least the next one to three months. Now, if you're in the UK and Europe, you might have noticed something that's rather interesting about this. At the same time, DJI have removed the stock from their website. They have also started a huge amount of advertising in the UK and Europe, especially around their enterprise products. And they've even released a new drone security white paper with a talk about how secure their devices is, how they actually deal with your data. And what DJI are doing here is set the stage to say, hey, all of this noise in the US is largely untrue with regards to data security, data handling. DJI talk about the fact that they use AWS servers for some of their data. They don't have your log data unless you give it to them. And this is very much a sort of push towards Europe with regards to saying, hey, we're good, we're safe but also trying to get that message into the US as well for the policy and lawmakers because DJI is still under a huge amount of scrutiny in the US. And again, this issue around products being imported for users was largely around the fact of data security and other issues too. Now, this white paper I will link to in the description is quite interesting, although I also think there's quite a bit of gaslighting going on in this document as well, because many of the concerns around the security of DJI products are actually based on data security. DJI spent a lot of time in here talking about how secure their drones are from an RF link perspective, being AES encrypted, the onboard storage being encrypted, the fact that the drone has secure zones and can only run signed software. They talk about secure boot, security update, system security hardening, log security, media data encryption. They're talking a lot about their drones being secure from other people getting in, but it's in many ways a distraction from many of the questions around what is DJI doing with your data, not what are third parties doing with your data. So it is quite amusing from that perspective. I would say, though, if you're interested in finding out more, I will put a link to it in the description and it is worth checking out. But there is no question as a result of this shift in the US that DJI are also having a big shift into Europe as well. Now, obviously, where there's a void, there's going to be someone to try and fill it. Now, when it comes to drones, well, this is quite complicated because there are basically no alternatives to DJI. If you want a Mavic, you need a Mavic because the only alternative is Autel. Autel is also Chinese and is also basically under the same scrutiny as DJI. And the products don't remotely come close to being able to offer the features and capabilities that DJI does. And it is only a very limited number of products that they offer. With regards to FPV, the biggest beneficiaries of this are going to be HD0 and Cadex FPV. HD0 is actually a US-based company. So HD0 will absolutely benefit and obviously Cadex are going to benefit as well. However, remember, Cadex are actually a Chinese company, but they are minuscule in comparison to DJI. And as a result of that, I do expect them to be able to operate without any issues. However, when it comes to Cadex, I now have to state my Mads Tech Cadex warning. Cadex are a brand that Mads Tech states you should not trust. 
Due to their corporate culture, their management and marketing behaviour, they are a brand that have not only made promises that they have not always delivered upon, but they are also a company that have made both direct and indirect threats towards me on my channel for content that I have made. They have allegedly tried to influence creators to only make positive content about their products and they have as recently as this week allegedly reached out to people who have bought products via Amazon offering them a full refund in exchange for a five-star positive review. Due to this and many other issues around their corporate behaviour they are a brand that mads tech labels as buyer beware. So the reality is if you're into drones and FPV and you live in the US you're pretty much in the shit right now. However, hopefully it'll level up soon. There is always the import option. There are ways of getting stock. As I've said, stock is pretty good in Europe, but it's going to be interesting to see how all of this plays out. But the reality is it's not just DJI affected, but hey, you still got Cadex, but just make sure your wallet's still in your pocket before you leave the room. Now, I hope you have found this interesting. If you have and you'd like to support the channel to allow us to be completely independent, to say what we do, please do consider checking out the links to my Patreon as well as buy me a coffee. I want to say a huge thank you to all of my Patreons. Genuinely, I would not be able to make the content I do on this channel without your support. And if you'd like to support us to remain completely independent of brands, please do consider checking it out. Anyway. That's it from me on this one. Stay safe. I will speak to you soon.